Hi, I'm Andy from Autodesk Navisworks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate and understand the Clash Detective. Clash Detective enables you to identify clashes between objects in your model so that you can resolve problems at the design stage. Clash tests store details of the clashes in your model. The first time you use Clash, there are options at the top of the screen so you can quickly add a test. When you add a test, the test's expanding panel is displayed. This is essentially the start point for clash detection and it's where you set up and monitor clash tests. You can add tests manually or import and export them. You can add as many tests as you want. Now that I've done that, I can set up the test that I want to run. I'll move the test panel out of the way so we can focus on the rules tab. In the rules tab, you can set up rules so that the clash test will ignore clashes between certain types of geometry or items. This helps to filter your clashes. You can also edit the existing rules or even create new rules using the predefined rules templates. For this test, I'll use the rules selected here and move on to the select tab where I can select which objects I'll be looking for clashes in. At the top of the select tab, you can see the selection A and selection B panes. These are similar to the selection tree, but instead of selecting items in the scene view, you select items to clash against each other. Below each pane are a set of buttons that you can use to select which geometry types to include in a clash test, whether to test the geometry selection against itself, to choose to clash currently selected geometry, or to set the focus in the scene view to match your selection in the select tab. Next, you can use the options in the settings area to tell Navisworks how you want to clash objects. If you want to link to Timeliner or an object animation, and to specify a tolerance to be applied to clashes, enabling you to filter out minor clashes. Now, just click Run Test and the Results tab will open, displaying all the clashes based on the parameters you've set up for the test. This is where things get interesting and the time you've spent on setup is rewarded. The scene view displays the first clash in the results grid. Each clash I click on will be displayed in the scene view. A variety of details for each clash are displayed against it in the clash grid, including its status, which you can change using the drop-down. The buttons at the top of the screen give you a variety of ways to manage your clashes, including creating groups to make it easy to manage related clashes, and the ability to assign a clash to an individual to resolve. The Display Settings panel has a range of options for you to choose how clashes are displayed. I can also hide this panel so that I can see more of the clash grid. The Items panel down at the bottom of the screen displays details of the items involved in the clash and can also be hidden. And notice how at the top of the screen the summary has been updated with details of the clash test of run so I can see the details at a glance. And if I want to see comprehensive detail I just click to display the test panel. Finally, the Report tab gives me the opportunity to share and further analyse clash data. I can select what I want included in the report, as well as the required output format. When I've done, I just click Write Report and the report will be printed. So now that I've given you a quick tour of the Autodesk Navisworks Clash Detective, why not explore some of the features yourself? Thanks for watching.